Hello, everybody. Today, I want to show you how you can create a Kubernetes cluster that is that has alpha features enabled. Um, normally, you go alpha, beta, and stable. So when you create a cluster in Kubernetes, uh, cluster in JKE, you get the stable release. You don't get the alpha one. So, and why we need that? We need alpha features enabled cluster so that you can um, install Argo project like um, Argo rollout, Argo CD, and whatnot. Um, so it's, it's a prerequisite for that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. To do this, we need access to uh, Google Cloud with uh, permissions for GKE. We also need the Cloud CLI install on our box. Both we, I have both of them ready. Um, and then once you've done it, I will um, show you that it, it got created, what the version it is, and whatnot. Um, I'll do a dump of the cluster information and gives you tons of good information about the cluster. Uh, to do this, the way you do that is you run this command. You, you give a cluster name, you give it a region. The key thing here is um, you, uh, any, whatever project you're working on, you, you give it this, this, these um, uh, parameters, uh, enable Kubernetes alpha, that's the key one. And because it's alpha, you can't have any auto repairs, you can't have any support, you can't have any auto upgrade. All right, so that's how you do that. Now I have a script that does all the pre-check, like the pre stuff like I mean, logging into the Google Google project and afterward it creates context and whatnot. So I cannot show you the entire script, but this is this is the what exact this is the command that you need to run. Uh, because the reason I can't show you that because it has some in, in, in secret information uh, implications for that. So I will run that and once the cluster is created, I will come back to the video. So give me one second. Let me at least start that. That's my script that does it, and I will start that, and I'll pause the video and come back in about seven minutes. Okay, everybody, the cluster got created and got health checked. Um, it took um, six or six and a half minutes or so to get it done, and as you can see, that's the name of the cluster. It's dynamically dynamically named based on time and date. And that's the description of the cluster. It gives you a whole, whole lot of information. Uh, we don't really particularly care about that right now. Um, and it should give me the name of the name of the node that it's running on, well, the worker node anyway. It's a one node cluster to save me money. It costs me about three cents an hour to run this cluster because I'm running on a uh, E2 small. All right, oh, it's right, right now it's generating the kubectl um, um, context. Context is just a connection between your machine and the cluster so that, and, and including authentication so that you know, um, you can, when you run kubectl command, it, it knows where, which cluster to run against and the namespace. All right, so almost done here. It gives me a list of all the pods. And right now, no, there's no pod in the de default namespace, just kube kube system. All right, so now we're gonna do kubectl dash dash version, uh, actually version, just version, version, dash dash short. It will give me the version of kubectl locally installed and name and the version of the server, cubes, uh, the Kubernetes server that's running on GKE. And it's running 1.24.8. That's the default right now as of January, 2023. Now, next thing I'm gonna run is kubectl cluster info. It will give me a summary of stuff about the cluster, especially the URLs of different endpoints. And now I'm going to run the same command with the dump option. It, give, it will give me a million piece of information about the, about the cluster. We don't really care about everything about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this again, send it to a file, and open up the file to show you that it has, it has some alpha stuff in it. All right, any day now. If I edit the file, search for alpha, you see there's some alpha stuff included in this cluster. All right, I hope you found this video useful. Again, we did this uh, to create the alpha enabled cluster so we can later, later on run Argo projects on them, which is a requirement. I will see you in the next video.